It's here at the WR Hallway Reservoir that the Grand River Dam Authority confirmed that zebra mussels have started an early colonization. They're um, pretty good as far as multiplying. They're kind of out of hand and um, I know that a lot of the folks are kind of worried about um, the intakes on the powerhouses and things like that. I know that they've had trouble with that. And just below at the Salina Pumped Storage Project, which sits in the Saline Creek arm of Lake Hudson, you can pretty much turn over any rock and find the mussels. The fact that they're here, it is a bad thing because these are so prolific, they'll eventually, uh, well, they have the potential of getting into very large densities and that can cause some, some problems for for water treatment plants and hydroelectric facilities and just to name a few. Sam Ziar is a fisheries and wildlife biologist with GRDA. He's also a member of the Oklahoma Zebra Mussel Task Force. He says there are several reasons why the zebra mussels are such a nuisance. In addition to clogging pipes and causing economic damage, they are also changing the food chain in the water. Essentially what they end up doing is taking the nutrients out of the water and what that creates is a down-up effect as far as the food web's concerned, and uh, it can create uh, problems for, for sports fishermen. Recreational fisherman Paul Castleman used to do a lot of fishing at Ulaga Lake, but had to find another spot because the zebra mussels became such a problem there. They ran us off of the pier out there because the lines were breaking down around the, li the line that goes down below. But now that the mussels have made it to Lake Hudson, he and other fishermen may have to consider yet another place to cast their lines because the RS says the invasion is pretty much impossible to get rid of completely. Once they're here, they're here. I mean, they're so prolific. Even if you were to kill 90% of them, that 10%, they, they can increase in densities in pretty fast, actually. Wildlife officials are asking for the public's help to at least limit the spread of the mussels take uh, precautionary methods like washing your boat, draining out your bilges, anything that's wet, wash it off. For more information or to report a possible sighting, you can go to the Grand River Dam Authority's website at grda.com. In Mays County, Angela Rosecrans, The Oklahoma News Report.